Brandon again. I keep getting this uh, request on my comments that is just like test button mapper on Chrome OS. And to me, button mapper sounds like a generic thing. So I reply, what do you mean by button mapper? Can you be more specific? And then he doesn't reply. And then on my next video, he's like, test button mapper. How come you don't test button mapper? And I'm like, oh, I will. Just tell me what button mapper you want me to test. And no reply. And anyway, this goes on on most of my videos. And <laughs> finally today, this guy's like, well, since you don't test button mapper, I'm done with you. So, I mean, that's fine. Um, I'm sorry to that guy who's done with me. And uh, it's not that I don't want to test button mapper. It's just button mapper is such a generic thing, man. I don't even know what you're talking about. So what I'm doing here is I just went to the Play Store and I typed in button mapper and I downloaded the first thing. And uh, we're going to test this on Chrome OS. This is on the Chromebook. Uh, I think it's 10E or 11E. I don't remember off the top of my head. You can see my channel. It's a Lenovo Chromebook I bought. It's a really cheap one, but it works pretty good for what it is. And it runs Android apps. And we're going to test out this button mapper. Maybe it's the right one. Hopefully. Maybe the guy won't see it because he unsubscribed. But maybe this will help somebody. So this is what button mapper looks like when you download it. And when you first start it, you have to give it permission to uh, detect your buttons. And I wish I should have started recording before I opened it. But um, you'll be able to figure it out if you try this. And so then it brings you to this screen. And I've never used this app before, so I don't know what it does. But it, um, let's see, I think this thing does have the volume up and down button. So I'm going to click on volume up and uh, just see if it lets me customize this. Single tap. Well, let's try double tap. Oh, what did I do? Did I lose it? Okay. I lost myself. Okay, double tap. We will see if double tap can go home. All right, let's see what that does. Let me double tap this thing. I don't know. Maybe I have to apply it. Oh, do I have to start service? It says it's on, right? Uh, let's try single tap. Go home. Long press. Recents. Now, this all might not work because this isn't... Ooh, so long press here does that. Or did I press the power button? Have I been pressing the wrong button the whole time? No, I'm long pressing it. What's this hard to do? Like? Like it wants me to like the app? Okay. How do I go back? Let's go back. Okay, headset button? I don't have a... Maybe that's if you have your uh, a headphones plugged in with a button on it. I don't have anything like that. Can I add a button? No buttons added. If the button is not detected here, it cannot be mapped. Let's try my volume up. Okay, what about a keyboard button? Ooh, it does detect the keyboard. Now that's cool. Okay, keyboard up, add. Let's see if I can customize that. Pro features? Oh no, can I not customize this? Okay, single tap. Let's say that'll go home. Let's see what happens now. Ooh. Okay, so now if I press up on my keyboard, it'll go home. So that's kind of cool. Double tap. Let's make it uh, show recents. That doesn't do anything, but there's no recents really on um, Chrome probably. But are these all the actions you can do? Oh, here's more. Scroll down. Oh, to open camera, you need Pro Edition. Flashlight, that one. What about screenshot? It's double tap. We'll take a screenshot. I don't know. Hmm. Let's try a long press and see if we can make it go to full screen mode. It's long. Pr oh. This setting requires permissions. 
Follow the guide on your P. Okay, we can't do that. What about, hmm, system settings, long press. Oh, yeah, that opens settings, the Android settings app, I think. So that's, oh, this is the actual Chrome OS settings. So that worked. What I want to be able to do is a key press to just open any app, right? Let's try a different key. Can I add another one? What about, uh, well, I, I use all my keys, but for just testing it, let's try Z, the letter Z. Let's customize the letter Z, and let's make it so... I want to just make it open an app. Is there an option for that? That's that'd really be helpful. Oh, there's a Chrome OS update. How lovely! We'll get to that in a minute. I don't know, and this might not be the app the guy's been asking about. I wish I knew exactly what he wanted. So I'm just kind of guessing. I don't see any really good actions here. But uh, here's something else I'm going to test uh, while I'm at it. Oh, dang. And I don't have one close at hand. I thought I had a gamepad sitting around. I was going to test a gamepad out. Huh. Actually, I'm on a tablet, so I can just take this with me and grab a gamepad and test this out. It would be uh, pretty cool if I could plug a controller in, a USB controller and map a button to that. So let's see what that does. And over here, by my big old TV, which you can see in the background, I do have the classic Xbox 360 USB controller. So I'm gonna plug this thing in. Lights up. Let's see if we can map something to it. Let's say, Where did I get to where I could add buttons? Oh, add button. No, wrong thing. <laughs> add button. Add. It's not detecting anything with the gamepad. But maybe if I close the app and reopen it, it might. And just to know, to plug all this stuff in, I have a uh, dongle plugged into the USB-C port on this. It's something really cool you can do on the uh, Chromebook. All right, let me reopen Button Mapper and just see if it'll detect anything on my gamepad. Okay, the gamepad is looking like a no. Maybe I should test if the gamepad's working in Chrome OS at all. That'd be something interesting to know. Let's see. We'll search for a JavaScript gamepad test. There ought to be something. No gamepad detected. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so the gamepad works. Uh, it just doesn't work on that app. Maybe gamepads are not shared with Linux or with uh, Android. Anyway, this is a button mapper on. Um, Chrome OS, Android button mapper. If uh, if the guy who wanted this watches and uh, this is not the button mapper, I'm sorry. Uh, next time, tell me which one you want me to test. As far as I can tell, it works. I'm going to erase these because I don't want my up key and my Z key doing weird things. Um, as far as this app goes, maybe I'm just not seeing it, but it, it would be cool if you could make it open an app or something. None of the actions here are really something I'd need a button for. But anyway, it, it probably works good for some people. That's Button Mapper. It's not something I'd probably use, but you can make your uh, keyboard do stuff. I wish it would work with the gamepad. Um, that would have been pretty cool. But alas, it does not seem to. But anyway, if you have any other things you want me to test on Chrome OS Flex, or not, I'll be happy to, as long as I know what you're talking about. 
this is my best guess as to what you might have been talking about. I hope that it was right. And um, if there's anything else you want me to test on this button mapper, you can let me know. And until next time, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Bye now.